back to my channel so today's video i'm bringing to you is going to be if you can recognize where i am that's right i'm at ikea so um stay tuned and hopefully i will have some bits to show you later on with my ikea haul take care hey everyone so i'm going to now show you a clip in a second of the fun that eliza had in ikea and she seemed to demolish the majority of a whole ice cream cone and somehow managed to wake up in the toy department and managed to get mummy to buy her something so anyway i'm going to show you the clip of her eating the ice cream now because it's hilarious no hands here take some, take some. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have it all. <laughs> That's all you're getting. So as you can see, she really enjoyed that. So, um, we didn't actually buy much today. We've got a lot of ideas that I need to sit and run through with Jake that I thought of. Um, for doing work on our porch downstairs and some really great storage ideas but walking around with the buggy you don't really have much free hands to pick other things up so I've just got a few little bits and pieces I absolutely loved the plant department I've got a thing at the moment about fake plants um, and I could have picked up lots and lots but I've left that be for today because I thought no you can do the decoration later on. We need to get the core problem, which is storage in our house, sorted first. So I actually spent £20, which isn't a lot. Um, but I'm going to run through. There's not. It's not that exciting today. I'm sure it'll be more exciting, as I said, when I go back with Jake. Um, but I'll show you the few little bits and pieces we got. So first and foremost, I got the Dimper storage bags the big massive you see these in the bedroom department generally um, hanging on one of their displays these are absolutely great for if you want to store your um, like holiday clothes perhaps you're switching between your winter to summer clothes I'm actually using this for when Eliza moves out of her six to nine months um, I've actually got a full bag full of three to six months I'm not expecting as much with her six to nine but I'm sure the majority of this bag will be filled um, at the moment we're keeping her clothes because we don't know if we will have another child later on and she's got some really lovely pieces so don't really want to sell them on so I know exactly what we're doing. So this was £3. So I think a great bargain. And they're great size as well that you could actually slot them. If you've got a bed with under storage, you can lay them flat. Um, yeah, I just think they're great breathable bag for clothes storage. Um, and especially you can put kids' toys in there as well that they don't use so much. Um, this is the item that Eliza uh, ripped mummy off for and I'm trying to see he was five pounds I thought he was about two or three pounds he was five pounds she is absolutely in love with him the moment she saw him she grabbed him she was so cute walking I was walking around Ikea and she just had him in her pram like cuddling him like all this um, I should have filmed it actually but yeah and all tonight she's been playing with him and laughing her socks off. So, um, yeah, not really. That's something now I need to store, isn't it? <laughs> um, the other thing for Eliza that I got her was there's two of these, but we've used one tonight with her dinner. It's the Bussig um, two-pack bibs with the little bit of a drip tray there. These came in at £3.50, which I think is really good. Um, I love IKEA bibs. I think they wash well. That you put them in 60 degree wash, um, machine wash them. And they've got like a plastic coating on the front, almost like a bit of an oil canvas feel. Um, 
and they come up really well around her neck and just cover a lot of her clothes i've got the um like almost like the artist's painting one where her arms go through but i do think i'm going to get a lot more use out of this pack to be honest the next thing we bought for me was this um hanger storage hanger and i actually got this um idea from kerry welpdow um, and she had this hanging in her wardrobe and I thought actually that's something I could do with because our wardrobe is really full on my side and not so full on shakes um, and I've got a lot of hangers up there for vest tops so I thought well this is great for vest camis um, anything that you want to hang on you can put scarves, belts this came in at, where is it? I did see it earlier. 75p. So you could have a lot of these. I actually thought if Jake didn't have his old tie hanger, old tie hanger, this would have been great as well for him to hang his ties on. So yeah, bargain for 75p. Next thing I got was this grater cheese grater another Kerry Welkdown she's uh, inspired me to go into Ikea and get these bits and pieces but I noticed I follow a lot of her cookery um, programs that she does on her YouTube channel and whenever she's grating cheese I always think what a great idea that it's all stored in a box nice neat and tidy because we have got I mean we've got our cheese grater we bought when we first moved in so it's nearly 10 years old it was from the pound shop I hated it the day I bought it I hate it today it's a really it's one of those square shaped ones it creates a load of mess it's really difficult to clean so i really wanted one of these and was glad to see that because i was watching old videos on kerry's channel i didn't know if ikea would still do this but they do and i got this for two pound 25 so in it you get this side of the grater this side and then you get the storage um, box and you also get a lid for the box as well so I thought that was an absolute bargain too sticking with the um, kitchen thing this was in the kitchen area and there's two of these tins this is called I don't even know Bermolic um, this was for pounds for two tins so you've got the smaller one in the middle and i thought yeah great for putting your washing tabs in we don't have a dishwasher but if you have dishwasher tabs um i'm going to be using this in my cleaning cupboard and i might go back and get a couple more too um i thought even for my cat's biscuits you could actually put them in this tin so um yeah maybe jake and i might go back and get some more and i might even get some label kits to label these tins up so we know what's in each but um if you're doing a bit of a job like me where you're trying to create more storage in your kitchen i think these are going to be great additions um especially for four pound i thought that was getting another bargain and my last boring item of my ikea trip was my sandwich bags the Istad um, sort of food storage. Um, these came in at £1.75. These were near the till. So I suppose it was a bit of an impulse buy. But it's not because um, Eliza's obviously now eating bits of food when we go out. So they do two sizes of bags. They do the snack bags, which I thought would be great for Eliza with our little bits of finger food um, and then they do the larger ones and Jake and I used to use sandwich bags all the time didn't we um, but we don't so much now but I thought for £1.75 you know they're a lot cheaper than if you get in Sainsbury's um, and yeah so you've just got the big one where you can put your sandwiches in and the snack bag um, and you get 30 of each so I thought that was a pretty good deal um so that's all in all what we bought in ikea thing i was going to mention to you guys that i never knew about ikea i was saying to jake i had my dinner in ikea today um and when i ordered my food 
um, the chef actually grabbed me as I was going to the um, till and said to me, oh, you do know you get a pouch of pureed food for your baby for free? And I said, no. So he took me back to the, um, they've got like a big fridge area where you can get your bottled water, your juices. And at the top was a choice of a vegetable puree or a fruit puree. And the vegetable one was sweet potato, carrot and cauliflower um and eliza had that for dinner and she polished it she absolutely loved it and i was so shocked that ikea does that that if an adult's eating you get your baby food for free i thought that's just i mean i'm a family member anyway there um so you get your free tea and coffee and stuff but for them to do that i thought was such a good deal and i don't Think I've ever heard about it before so I thought I'd put it on my channel for you guys that might be watching me with younger babies that if you do go to Ikea remember to grab your little pouch of puree um, I did check my receipt again and they definitely didn't charge us for it so um, that's something to bear in mind so I'm gonna leave it there now guys um, so that was my trip to Ikea for you um, so it's been a bit boring but as I said we're going back in a maybe we might do it this weekend if not we're definitely doing the next couple of weekends and um i will show you guys more of what i've um picked up i am looking at the big storage boxes and stuff like that that we can put in our bedrooms and um stuff for the kitchen as well so yeah keep your eyes peeled and also don't forget um coming soon is going to be eliza's nursery tour i'm so excited to show you guys what we've done for her room absolutely adore it so i hope you guys do too so thank you very much again for watching if you did like this video please do give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already and you do like all the videos you've been watching of mine please do subscribe to my channel each subscription each like to my videos really do mean the world to me so it'd be great um to see a few more of you to join our community so speak to you later guys take care bye